Hey folks, this is Vint with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly review Aviano. This is a game that you can find on Steam's early access program for about 30 bucks. So I'm going to take you back in time a little bit. Back in ye old days of Super Nintendo Entertainment System, you had a game called Pilot Wings, where you were tasked with flying through wings using various crafts. It might be a biplane, you might be skydiving through rings, there was hand gliding, um, you had like a rocket pack on. Imagine a game now where it is solely focused on one of those mini-games. In this case, it's hand gliding. So the game has a campaign, and it's spelled C-A-M-P-A-I-N in the in the game. It, it sh there's a missing G there. I don't think the developers are native to English speaking, but uh, yes, they incorrectly spelled the word campaign throughout everything in this game. But anyway, and in some of the dialogue, like the word the is THR. So there's a lot of spelling mistakes that are in this game at this present time, and that's okay. But I think what I'm trying to get out here is, is that this game is just fly through the rings with a hand glider. That's what it is. There is a campaign where you're going through a series of stages, and then, um, you know, you're going to be progressing from area to area, but you're going to be doing the same thing. Very simple to control. There are three different difficulty modes, though, that are, you know, that'll give you more of a challenge if you want it. But there's also a player versus player split screen mode. There's a time attack mode, a ring attack mode. There is a relax mode that doesn't involve those rings. However, there's nothing to do. It's just endless vistas, but there's like nothing built to fly around or through or, you know, it's just, it's just empty, empty space. Yeah, the, the land and the horizon looks nice, but that's it. There's like nothing else to interact with. Um, there is a hangar to where you can customize your, your hand glider a bit. Like you can choose between, I think, one of three different hand gliders and you can choose the color scheme for each one. That part of it was cool, but for the rest of it, I just, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna come right out and say it. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. This is a $30 fly through the rings game with a hand glider. That's what this is. Yeah, the environments are somewhat pretty. Okay, I'm not gonna deny that. The, the environments are nice to look at. But that's the game. Fly through rings with a hand glider. There's no other mechanic here that will pull you in. So you're either really liking the style of game or it's not gonna be worth it to you. And you're probably wondering, well, yeah, I mean, the environments are great. Why wouldn't you pay $30 for this? Well, let's take a look at another game that is sort of on rails. It's called Abzu. Um, it's $20, and that's sort of on rails as well. But at times, it's an underwater diving game. You actually get to navigate freely around this semi-open sandbox until you find the next area to go through. There are bits and pieces where... You'll be forced to travel down, you know, through ways, and the current will take you different places in that game. And these, the surroundings and the art and the graphics are just as beautiful. And that's $10 cheaper than this. I found more replayability and more wonder and awe in Abzu than I did playing this game. This game, again, was just fly through rings, and I... I'm sorry, but for 30 bucks, I can think of so many other games to play. Uh, you know, it's just, it's, this did not at all appeal to me. So, um, honestly, uh, just frankly, I, I think that the developers need to do something to, you know, a add some kind of longevity to this game. Uh, don't make it a one-trick pony. Find something else to hook the player in. Uh, some kind of you know, progression system where your hang glider levels up over time, or you can buy uh, features for your biplane that, or your, your hang glider rather, that give it some sort of bonus or, or you know, some sort of like a plus five to handling, uh, you know, once you, you know, once you purchase this thing over here, so, some sort of progression. Again, this is just a casual flying fly through the rings game, and I'm sorry, but 30 bucks, no, I'm, no. Sorry, it's just, it's not worth it <laughs> to me anyway. You may like it. I, I, I did not. 
If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vince, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.